So now let's add the base part for section B. So tap on your plus sign, select section B, and then double check that your ruler is the numbers three and four and your ruler is black so that we know that it's empty before we record over it. So our notes for section B are two Fs, two Cs, two Gs, two Cs. <laughs> So I'm going to practice that with the clicks now. I'm pressing play. It's actually really difficult to do that in time using the mouse. So I'm going to record it with a finger instead. So I'm tapping return to get back to the start of the ruler. And here's my recording. Two, three, four. F, F, C, C, G, G, C, C. So once you've practiced and recorded section B, we'll go on to section C. So let's tap the plus sign and select section C. Double check your ruler. It should have the numbers five and six and it should be black. And our recording for section C is C, C, F, F, C, C, G. G. Okay, so I'm going to try that with the clicks now. C, C, F, F, C, C, G, G. And when you practice that and you're ready, tap return and here comes the recording. C, C, So let's go to the plus sign and select all sections. And you should see now your ruler going from one to six and it should all be green if you've recorded those bass notes into all three sections, okay? So let's go to our tracks view, the bricks in the top left corner. And now we can see those piano chords in grey that we recorded and then muted. And we can see our new bass notes there on the bottom showing up in green because we've got our headphones on for that track. So let's quantize our bass track so that all these notes are exactly in line with where they should be on the ruler. So tap the track controls. And then track settings. And at the top there, quantization, and then choose straight and quarter note. Okay, so now all of our notes have been moved exactly onto the quarters of the bars. And you can tap track controls to exit. And let's turn off those headphones on the lower piano track so that everything is showing up in green. And here's a little sample of how it should sound with your bass and your chords together. If I turn the chords down a bit, the bass up a bit, you can hear that more clearly. Okay, so you've got those two tracks and you can adjust the volume between them so that you can hear each one Really, it's just your choice what you think is the right balance between the two. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to add the melody. Well done.